It is a warm welcome to you viewers. It is time for Crime and Road Safety Watch, a program proudly brought to you by the Zimbabwe Republic Police. My name is Onesisa Sivanda. In one of our previous episodes, we aired a story where CID homicide arrested Tandolwengo Sintlovu, a serial killer who was targeting homeless people. The Zimbabwe Republic Police honored and acknowledged the good work done by the female detectives who effected this arrest. The Deputy Commissioner General of Crime, Deputy Commissioner General Lorraine Chipato, represented the Commissioner General of Police as the guest of honor at the function. I am exceedingly glad to join you today at this milestone event where we are gathered to celebrate and reflect upon exceptional police work by the detective from CID Homicide Harare who brought to an end to a serial killer's reign of terror. Indeed, this Exceptional police officers are well moved by the desire to protect the sanity of human life. It is such more dreadful and body chilling. Even the evil is made manifest in a 20-year-old, seemingly very innocent young man. To crush a fellow human being, scalp, rip them apart, and hack them for dinner. It's just as inconceivable as it is beyond the realm of any imagination. There is therefore an urgent need to heighten police vigilance and deeply entrenched intelligence network that will inform proactive policy. It is a requirement that police officers have a strong zeal to fight crime, to attend to horrific murder scenes, resentfully defend the vulnerable. It is therefore imperative that the only semblance of appreciation we have is to honor them with awards where the outstanding performance has been registered. The gripping tale of the serial murder had sent shock waves amongst the generosity of our citizenry. After the gruesome murder of five homeless persons, indeed, your swift response to the account of this calcious criminal is a clear indication of the organization's com commitment to save all the people of Zimbabwe, regardless of one's rank in society. As an organization, we continue to mourn the wonderful disregard of human life by some unruly elements within our society. I am thus glad to item that you have remained resolute in executing your constitutional mandate by ensuring the safety of the generality of Zimbabwe citizens, as well as accounting for the perpetrators of heinous crime. This is indeed remarkable, and it will go a long way in restoring the police public confidence. The investigation and detection of serious and heinous crimes, such as murder, armed robbery, trafficking in persons, theft and robbery of motor vehicles, wildlife and environmental crimes, to mention just but a few, require men and women of valor. Though death is inevitable, we are equally worried about the increase in murder cases countrywide. Teamwork, dedication to duty by our crack team, known as the Neha and our heroine, brought a howl to this gripping tale. Just a brief history on our new team. After saying that our CID homicide is uh, mainly composed of uh, Mayor, and going with the manager for His Excellency the President, uh, Comrade Idim Nangagwa, not to leave anyone behind, we had a pilot project to see how our female officers would fare if they are given the opportunity 
to fight along their male counterpart. This team uh, is uh, almost a month now. The first task which they had to handle was this task, which as a result resulted in the arrest of this uh, dangerous criminal. Ma'am, this was a feat which we felt really deserved the honor and uh, the privilege and really a round of applause for our network. This team will be very important now. Moving on, following a case of attempted murder which occurred recently in Mashonaland East Province due to domestic disputes, the police have launched a campaign against gender-based violence. The officer commanding Marshall in East Province, Commissioner Grace No, gives us more on this story. We received a report of a young woman who is being charged for attempted murder, uh, which took place in one of our policing areas of Marondera Rural, at a place called Tuboy, or Masovera area. Um, she was in the company of her boyfriend in that area, and um, they had some misunderstandings in the early hours which resulted in the young woman taking drastic action of taking a mirror which has broken and cutting the manhood of, um, of her boyfriend because of some misunderstandings that they had. And we are urging and we are reaching out to the women folk to say, should they have such instances, they should reach out to the police. We have our victim friendly unit we have our community relations liaison officers, which are open 24 hours for them to be able to come and reach for help. It is not an excuse for us to take drastic action, but we could have, we could have avoided this kind of situation. She could have been a victim of domestic violence, but in the end she becomes an accused person for something that could have been avoided. So we are reaching out to our women folk. We also intend to reach out to them and enlighten our women in the community of the role of the women, of the role of the police um, in terms of making the environment safe for them, open for them to reach out when they find themselves in problems. Police in Marondera have arrested six accused persons in connection with the stock theft case that occurred in Suffolk Farm in Marondera. Initially, Police arrested two of the suspects in Marondera Central Business District whilst they were trying to transport stolen meat which was stashed in bags. These two later implicated the other four who were arrested in Hopli, Harare. The six have appeared before Marondera Magistrate Court and were remanded in custody. We spoke to some of the complainants who had this to say. <laughs> Fume eight, Muswa eight, who seen Querim a day, Dagdaku Bopa Mombe, the Chidacuno, Cheram for a good in for me. She seen the Gona Dons and I Daku Bopa Mussis in Amadanga, Dopandaka Tauri Roven around Muneba Wang Dopaka Mangar, who police Aku Budam, who police Coco, Aku Pai Coco, and Dopaka Bam, and you want him put his such guns ah, Maronder or Rock name Casey Ashika in Yam. You are a police I want Dagana to Zuni Randega, Vakashanda, Rakanaka, and the Vakanti Batsira, Mombe Zangu Dodds and Daira Ramanazo in Nini Muriang. Yes, Nishana Kuri, Macheco, Guerinuri, and Dine, and Nashot in the Nurima, Semuri Mirandi, and the Vanon di Zivandi Girima, and then Dinurima, Dikira Raman in Muriangu Nikurima. That story takes us to the end of the first segment of Crime and Road Safety Watch. Join us shortly. We are in the second segment of Crime and Road Safety Watch. As the world is going digital, 
the Zimbabwe Republic Police Traffic Section, in partnership with other stakeholders, has adopted smart policing initiatives aimed at effectively enforcing traffic rules and regulations. They have since launched the Speed Monitoring Program in line with the newly promulgated Statutory Instrument 118 of 2023. The Zimbabwe Republic Police has embraced the Smart Policing Initiative and in this regard we have partnered the bus operators uh, under the Zimbabwe Passenger Transport Organization in terms of having the latest uh, technology in line with the statutory instrument uh, 118 of 2023 where public service vehicle operators are now required to have speed limiting devices on their vehicles for the safety of passengers and also ensuring that uh, road compliance takes center stage to curb road traffic accidents. The Zimbabwe Republic Police is now having this new technology, the speed monitoring device, and the control room is initially at Harare Central Police Station where the police working together with the operators. Operators, we have volunteered to be under this initiative to monitor buses as they leave Harare to various destinations in the country. And uh, we are warning operators, especially drivers, that this new system is now taking effect. We are now effecting arrest and ensuring that the due processes of the law are followed. And what it entails, it entails that the drivers have to be very careful. The drivers have to comply with the, the road rules and regulations, specifically the issue of speeding. And we want to advise other operators, especially bus operators. We have not joined this system to come on board. Why? It is for their benefit in terms of their operations. Secondly, it also assists to reduce road traffic in the country. It also assists to monitor how drivers are behaving on the country's roads. So we definitely, definitely appeal to these operators to come on board. It's an association we've partnered with the Zimbabwe Republic Police where we are saying every bus has to be fitted in with a speed monitoring device. The ZRP is going to monitor from the offices where there is a control room which can monitor any bus anyway in, in, in our country. And we are saying every bus has to be fitted with that. And the statutory instrument states that buses should not exceed a speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour. So the officers in the control room will be there to monitor any speed which has gone above 100 kilometers per hour. So at the present moment, the police officers, when they see the buses which have exceeded the speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour, they actually tell the nearest police station to intervene and uh, ticket the uh, offending driver. The operation called named Tame the Jungle, which is aimed at restoring order on the country's roads, is still ongoing. And since its inception, a number of arrests have been effected. As at Wednesday, 20 September 2023, a total of 30,469 arrests had been effected. Of these, 905 arrests had been made on vehicles without route permits, while 11,253 arrests had been made on illegal pirate taxis, which are known as Mishika Shika. 332 motorists had been arrested for reckless driving, while 2,027 people had been arrested for touting. Meanwhile, 812 vehicles had been impounded for moving on the roads with no registration plates. Still on traffic issues, the government, through the Ministry of Transport and Infrastructural Development, continues to promote road safety through the rehabilitation of major roads in the country. I'm happy particularly with uh, regard to this road ops. You remember we had complaints, say we started a project and it was told and people were complaining. But alas, we are here today after elections and business. Meaning that whatever we started, we are going to complete. Uh, His Excellency was talking about keeping even the city clean. 
And if you have witnessed this section that we are um, uh, witnessing today, uh, it was the most damaged section. And you heard from the engineer that they had to go 1.2, 1.5 meters to retrieve and remove the unwanted type of soil, the black soils that you are seeing, to demonstrate that we are constructing a strong road, which is also durable. And this was the challenge with this section, where we would, people would rehabilitate and the road will collapse. But you see again that using our own resources, and in particular CMED, to demonstrate that we can mobilize equipment, we can do the roads ourselves within um, the ministry, and I'm happy that CMED is uh, running this project. And the scope of works we had, we are going to progress from Tiviadale, we've got Alps, and up to Headcliffe, uh, up to Glen Forest, which is closer to 20 kilometers. So this is something that we are running with. And my humble uh, plea to the people of Zimbabwe, just you can see the dumping of plastic bottles in the drainage where we have redirected the channel of this river. But we are witnessing people dumping, having this as a dump site, which is something that is not in tandem with the dictates of the Second Republic in terms of uh, maintaining the cleanliness that we are talking about. His Excellency Comrade Dr. Emerson Damzom Nangagwa is saying, let's work, let's rebuild our country. And precisely as a ministry, you have seen that I've got a new uh, deputy. We are running with speed to implement all the projects that we started and also to start new projects. Uh, what we've done so far, we've covered uh, about uh, eight kilometers uh, of this road. And uh, we are yet to complete the nine kilometers. Uh, we intend to actually finish this road before the rain season. So we are going to continue with many other roads throughout the country uh, as we work on our infrastructure uh, under the Ministry of Transport and uh, Infrastructure Development. I just want to thank the Ministry of uh, Transport and Infrastructure Development for continuing with the program of road rehabilitation. And therefore for road safety, this is a good initiative because once we have safer roads, uh, we find that we also reduce uh, the road carnage. Then secondly, it is important for economic development. Uh, when you look at uh, urban centers, these are commercial centers, people can do their businesses without having to worry about uh, bad roads, even night driving. But our greatest appeal now is that this, as the roads uh, become safer, and better. We appeal to the members of the public and to even motorists that these are residential areas. These are roads that run through residences and therefore as they drive they should take extra care for any uh, individuals that might be crossing the roads. Welcome to the third and final segment. Thank you for staying with us. Police in Marondera are investigating a fire incident which occurred at Total Service Station in Marondera Industrial Site. 17 vehicles were destroyed in this incident. Police in Marondera are investigating a fire incident which occurred on 31 August 2023 around midnight at Total Service Station Industrial Site Marondera, in which a panel beating workshop was cut down by fire, resulting in 17 vehicles burnt. So far, the cause of the fire is unknown. Therefore, we are appealing for information that may assist us to establish the cause of this fire. We were actually awakened to the news that the a garage had been burnt, and when we came in the morning, we realized that uh, there were members from the police who had come to carry out investigations to find out uh, the cause of the fire. And uh, as a community, we are equally worried, we are equally devastated over the loss. And uh, we have also joined the police in trying to come out uh, with the, the real cause of, of the fire. So far, we are very much pleased with the, the work uh, that the police has done. Our hope and prayer is that uh, uh, the investigations are going to be completed in time soon so that we can know the way forward. Uh, it's a loss not only to myself, but uh, a loss also to 
16 other owners of the vehicles. In other news, the Zimbabwe Republic Police exhibited at the just ended Mashonalin East Agricultural Show and scooped three awards. The organization got first position in the Uniformed Forces category, first position in the Most Outstanding Exhibitor, and second position in the Overall Winner category. This year, we are harnessing all resources and effort to sustain peace for national social economic development for the attainment of Vision 2030, where we expect our country to be in the upper middle income economy. We started off with the issue of drug abuse. Drug abuse uh, will reduce production because it has affected our youth. We also know that uh, the rehabilitated roads, uh, our farmers will use those roads to transport their produce to the uh, GMB or the tobacco option flows. Uh, as Zimbabwe Republic Police, we have the duty to manage those roads and make sure that uh, there are no ro highway robberies where farmers would end up losing their uh, produce to robbers. I say uh, congratulations and all done to the therapy for exhibiting uh, at this show. Uh, even for the trophies that you won, they are really well deserving, you really deserved. It was a pleasure taking a tour around the stand on the, at the different departments. I was at the drugs and narcotics section. Thank you so much, especially for the efforts that you are doing, trying to curb Nyayaye drugs uh, abuse. We are there in the community. We really want to work with you. Tishibatira and Tisha Sinejaya is my effort because this is really a challenge at Tinayo. We now move on to people on the police wanted list. Zetara P. Chemagamba is looking for Vincent Zuze of house number 12763, Rujeko Township, Chinoy, for a case of rape. Justice Mafiku of house number 85, Katsema section, Chinoy, is wanted by Chemagamba police for a case of robbery. Zetara P. Chemagamba is looking for Joseph Rajenera of house number 159, Katsema section, Chinoy, for a case of robbery. If you have information that may assist in the location of any of those people, feel free to visit any nearest police establishment or contact us on the following details. Our national complaints desk number is 0242-703-631. Visit our website www.zrp.gov.zw or email us on feedback at zrp .gov.zw You can also get in touch with us on our Twitter handle at Police Zimbabwe or like us on Facebook Zimbabwe Republic Police. You can also watch all Crime and Road Safety Watch episodes on our ZRP YouTube channel Zimbabwe Republic Police. It has been a pleasure having you along. From me, Onesa Sibanda and the crew behind the scenes, we look forward to seeing you again next week. Same time, same place. Till then, pleasant viewing.